Okay, so I thought I'd take another stab at this uh, IMU, the BNO55. Um, I have it just mounted on the dash. It's like minus six out, so can combine. Don't want to start the tractor, so that's the the BNO right in the middle of the screen there. And using the compass and all the fusing that it provides to generate a a raw gyro. That's what it puts out. And then I'm correcting it based on the past history of the fix heading and then merging that to be a corrected and adding the correction to the raw gyro based on the GPS to come up with a corrected IMU heading. Uh, the delta is the difference between what the last GPS readings were and what the current corrected um, IMU reading is and then adjusting that accordingly so it kind of the, the, the gyro can react very quickly the GPS over time so the gyro is a considered a high pass filter and the GPS is considered a low pass filter combine them you get the benefits of a quick turn with the gyro um, but you also get the stability by eliminating the wiggle woggle that the GPS does with its heading. So I'm just going to drive a bit and uh, see how it works. So I can't look at the screen, but I'm going to try to drive nice and straight. do a little of this, gyro immediately reacts, whereas the GPS, there's that delay. Let's go back straight again. And whip around a corner. You can see the, the gyro delta is all over the place because, well, you are going around a corner. And since it's using position, uh, it isn't anywhere near as accurate. So then once we're back on the road, we're going straight. You can see how stable gyro reading is. If I can just drive straight. straight in front of me and I'll drive straight and you can see what the numbers do so if you do a little turns again it immediately corrects so what I'm thinking of is for the pure pursuit to use the gyro and the mapping and everything just use the GPS and uh, I know I've been optimistic about this stupid IMU before, so I'm very cautiously optimistic this time. But this really does seem to work pretty good. There's a known problem with tilt and roll on the BNO55 if it's moving. It's a device that's supposed to be kind of in mobile devices to detect shock, change, drops, that sort of thing. And it doesn't seem to work um, if you're moving any sort of speed. So, but I still have that inclinometer to do tilt and roll. So I'm going to make this, the IMU and the inclinometer on its own board. And then what was the relay input I will use for the IMU input from this guy. So here's the raw data, this number here. As I turn, that's the raw data in 16 times the degree. So if you take this integer and divide it by 16, that gives you the angle in degrees that you're heading. And again, it doesn't matter which way the the uh, gyro and the compass is sitting, because it's basing its direction using a high-pass filter off of the GPS, which is always 
mostly correct, but bouncing around a degree or two either way. And that's all the gyro does, is it gives you that nice, see, even like this, just see the fixed heading is kind of going from one, two, three, but that corrected just sits there perfectly. So it reacts fast, and it's accurate. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd just share this a little bit. I'm at about a 10 degree angle going down this hill and you can see that the the compass and and the corrected heading pretty much unaffected so kinda neat